today? Today we have the opportunity that yes. very, very this few is a people world first. in the world have had. World first. We're talking about a 100 metre high tree. Maybe a 100 metre high tree. This would be, if it measures today, yes. the biggest tree, the biggest of the big ever discovered here in Tasmania, Correct. Australia, the southern portion of the world. There are guys who are going to climb it. Yeah. To your, tree, to your giant tree lovers, 100 metres has been the holy grail for over 130 years of searching. It is the Mount Everest. We're not the ones who are going to climb it, but this no. should be pretty good. Thank goodness. For years, Tasmania has been recognised as home to Australia and the Southern Hemisphere's biggest trees. Anything over 85 metres is considered a big tree, but we've never had anything over 100 metres until now. Meet the Centurion Tree. Laser readings from the ground put the height of the tree at just a tick over the magical 100 metre mark. But to get the official height, someone actually has to climb to the top and drop down a tape measure. Cue the crazy people. All right, we're about to start climbing the tree, but I thought just first of all we'd uh, talk about fishing. Uh, this is a very, very good quality reel spooled with braid line. Tom Greenwood joins us, who's the tree climbing guru, mate. Welcome oh, to the show first. I'm a tree climbing guru, but I've done a bit of tall tree climbing, and um, this particularly fine reel, as you say, and yes. um, after years of using probably cheaper reels, I decided that um, to get maximum distance, maximum height out of the shot, yes. um, you need a really good quality surf casting reel. So. If you're wondering what we're talking about, we, we're going to shoot the line up the tree with an arrow, uh, and that'll enable us to get the rope up there. Yes, we shoot the line with this light line, yep. and then we shoot, pull up a heavier line, then we pull up a rope and anchor one end, then you can climb the other end. So from there, you're away. Then up we go, and then we find out officially just how big this big tree really is. Tom is like the Sir Edmund Hillary of tree climbing, having scaled giants all over the world. But this is his first crack at a 100-metre tree, and a good shot with the bow is essential to get the climbing rope high enough and over a decent branch. If you get lucky, we'll get the top one. But either way, it'll be set at 75 to 80 metres. With the fishing line in place over some sort of a branch, the guys feed successively stronger ropes up the tree until the 8 mil climbing rope is in place. It's then put to an extremely stringent safety test. All right, that's our intrepid tree climbers. <laughs> <laughs> that's how they test, that's the scientific test for whether the tree branch that they've shot the arrow <laughs> over is strong enough. Tom was saying that sometimes he gets up there and then he'll yell down, oh, you wouldn't believe what the rope was over. A twig. He reckons it doesn't take much, much to, to hold, hold your you. body weight. No. Yeah. Yeah. It'll take a bit to hold up. <laughs> I had a lamington this morning too. With the trifling matter of safety taken care of, it's now onward and upward, Tom goes first, while Brett manages things on the ground. Hey, for a guy who's been climbing big trees for 20 years, what's this like to stand here in front of potentially the biggest flowering plant on earth, a 100 metre tree? This is the culmination of 20 years searching. This is the holy grail of tall trees in Australia. This, this is it. So hopefully today I can go home happy, full of the knowledge that at last, after 130 years or more, Australia has once again got a 100 metre tree. That would be awesome. So that's what we're hoping for. And do you get vaguely concerned that you may fall out of a 100 metre tree? Uh, not really. I just up my insurance to 300k. <laughs> OK, we're set there. This is an amazing shot of the tree if you look up this back side here. It just, um, it's got this great big sweep in it. It's not really until you get someone up the tree, and in this case, thankfully, that's Tom, yes, that you get yes. some understanding of its perspective. It is massive. Yeah, it's big, isn't it? He's uh, just a small speck up there, and he's 
He'd be two thirds of the way up. I, I don't think he's so, two thirds. I think he's a fifteenth over halfway. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This big tree, mm. which we're hoping mm. is a hundred, is next to another big tree, which is yeah. eighty-seven or something, and no one really cares about that yeah. big tree. The interesting thing about these trees is that they're in an area where they shouldn't be. There's no reason for big trees to be here. They're an enigma. In 1934 and 67, wildfires swept through the valley, taking with them virtually all the old trees except the Centurion and a couple of its neighbours. It wasn't until a routine airborne LIDAR survey of the area turned up the unexpected giant. Tall trees are an important part of what Tasmanian forests are about and um, finding them is a very important thing to forestry Tasmania. We want to find these trees, uh, we want to protect them and we want to, in the end, uh, share what we know about Tasmania's forests with other people, and, and Lido gives us a chance to do that. It was Resource Officer Mayo Kajitani who actually found the tree, creating plenty of excitement back at Forestry HQ. It's a pretty exciting thing for a forester to find a big tree like this. It's got this great big sweep in it. Again, looking out down towards the, the bottom of the valley and sort of the almost sw swampy grassy plains in patches and low forest. Again, it's just astounding to find a tree like this so close to forest that has no chance of ever getting very tall. So certainly a unique tree. At the very top, Tom uses a telescopic fishing rod to reach the highest leaves of the tree. It's that measurement combined with the tape drop that will determine the official height. Right, you can hear a little bit of chit chat in the top of the tree, Hardy. The boys mm. are up there. We're thinking mm. that Tom has got within kind of two metres of the top of the well, tree. Well, he, he mumbled a number, 1.88. Yep. Okay. Then there's another number that you add on to the overall height, which is for the 0.7, slope. because that's for the slope. They've already calculated that. So that would mean that that's about two, a bit over two and a half metres. So we only have to get to 97 metres to get to 100 metres. The tape is about to drop out of this tree. Yes. If that number goes above 97.5, we have 100. And we have a world record. Wow, well, Australia's a record or something. It's already a record. It's a but, big record. I mean, it's it's going to be better if it's 100. Imagine if it's not. Imagine if it's 99.8. Do you know the name of this tree? Yeah, they've, they've called it Centurion. That means 100 mm. or approximately that. It doesn't mean 99.8. No, they're very keen. Tape measure's coming down. 98.31. This is the part where we've got to ascertain where we measure from. Yeah. We're 100 metres. No, we're not. You bastard. Not quite. It is the Bradman tree. Yeah. Wow. What is it? 99.6? Yeah. You're kidding. We're talking. Did, did he measure it when the yes, yes, wind came through? Well, he had the... Um, 99.6? We're talking. We're talking 40 centimetres. 99.6. Well, you know what that means. I dispute that. Yeah. This is no longer the Centurion. It's we... the Bradman. It's the Don Bradman tree. <laughs> oh, Don Bradman. There you go. That's where it came down. 99.6. You know why? Because the, with the impulse. Yeah, well, I got, I got hundreds of my labour. We'll have more of going bush after the break, but that's a heartbreaker, folks. Oh. Ouch.
The Centurion tree may just fall short of 100 metres, but it's still, as far as we know, the tallest tree in the Southern Hemisphere and the world's tallest hardwood. Forestry Tasmania protects all giant trees it finds in state forest, and the use of LiDAR laser technology is finding more and more giants each year. To find out more, jump on the web at www.giantstrees.com.au.